There's nothing like some refreshing ice cream on a hot summer's day. But eat it quick before it melts, right? It's been pretty much an hour. It's melted, it's melted. And here is the ice cream sandwich. It appears to not have melted. It's not melting. Why isn't it melting? Break it up. <laughs> what the hell? Wrong. This is wrong. So is this a frozen fake? This can't be real. Or is there some ice cool chemistry going on? <laughs> ice cream is a mixture of fat, sugar, ice crystals, and air. When you take ice cream out of the freezer, two things happen. First, heat transfers into the ice cream, which heats up the ice and makes it melt into water. The second thing that causes ice cream to melt is the fact that these air bubbles start to break down. So he ends up with a puddle of ice cream. Now, we can see this has clearly happened with the two scoops of ice cream. With the ice cream sandwich, it's different. Two ingredients keep this ice cream firm, stabilizers and emulsifiers. Stabilizers are compounds like gums or long-chain sugar molecules. These are able to bind to the free-flowing water that has melted away from the ice crystals, stopping them from moving about. Emulsifiers are derived from vegetable fat or egg yolk, and they keep fat and water from separating. This is because an emulsifier has two amazing ends to it, one that loves water and one that loves fat. And so it helps bind the structure together, preventing these two from separating out. Forming a kind of scaffolding structure throughout the ice cream that traps air. So though it might seem strange that this ice cream isn't melting, it's perfectly safe to eat. So it looks like this ice cream sandwich will melt when hell freezes over.